My name is Alan O'Bear and I am a retired architect after 50 years of uh, architectural practice in the area of heritage mostly. I was born on the Channel Islands, the island of Jersey, just off the coast of Normandy. And for 25 years almost I've been here in the city of Surrey and uh, one of my major passions has been heritage and uh, I became part of the Heritage Commission. And one of our special projects was the restoration of the heritage rail that opened up the city and the valley. How do you get the message across that heritage is real, important, and has a, a, a you, you need to have a sense of responsibility about it? Because if you're in the heritage business, it's not a one-off thing. It's a journey of discovery. It's almost like archaeology in a way. You go and discover all these heritage things, what makes you and gives you identity. Now you're going to have to do something about that. Once you've made that discovery, you've got to put the plan together to preserve it. And then you have to protect it afterwards so it doesn't all go back into dust. And it's something we've thought about a great deal with our Heritage Railway because the founders of all of that are my vintage, which at some point, not too far over the horizon, it has to be handed over to the younger people. And when you look at the hundreds of volunteers we have here, a great number of them are in their late 70s, 80s. And in fact, it was interesting because only a short while ago, the city manager, Vince Alon, asked me at a meeting, what are you doing about succession planning? And every year, we hold a volunteer fair, like a job fair. And so we are replacing ourselves with approximately 21 new volunteers each year. And that's literally creating the turnover. The thrilling part of it is, because we don't want to do all this work and find that we have to shut the door one day. Our youngest volunteer is 13, our oldest is 84. Our youngest operator on the train, newly qualified, is 18, a young lady. And she's going to make a career in railways. So we have people now that are running this train in their teens and they're coming in. In fact, we're getting some of the school uh, from the high school that are being required to do community service as part of their educational program, learning um, everything from being welcoming to the history, to the museum, to safety on the platform. So they're learning all these life skills which are transferable in the marketplace that sort of goes on their resume to show that they spent that time in a very useful way. It's amazing to see how they're changing. So that's the most memorable is to see that there will, that there is succession and there are interested people coming on board because this project, what makes it different from everything else is living heritage as opposed to static heritage. That's the most memorable part.